Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rans Graphics. And without any further ado, let's right away start. Before I will start, I will invite you guys to subscribe my channel and I encourage you to press like if you want, okay? Because it helps a lot in my channel. So now let me start by creating a new composition and I will name it BG. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration, color is black, click OK. Then I will go to layer, create a new solid and I want it white and click OK. I will create a new composition and I will name it logo. Then I will change the width to 5760 by 2160. 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, color is black, click OK. I will enable the title action save here. Go grab my shape tool, change this to polygon tool. I want this stroke 130, color white, then I will draw like this. Open the polystar, expand polystar path, change these points to 6 points. And then the outer radius, change this to 760. Then go to your align tool and just center it horizontally and vertically. Then make this rotation zero. Then grab the text tool. I want this font size to be 750. Railway bold. Click OK. Go to your align tool and align it vertically and horizontally. Now I will go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it text placeholder. I want it 3840 by 600, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, and the color is black. Click OK. I will just zoom it in and grab my text tool and I will type company name. I will change this one size to 72 and go to the align tool and align it horizontally and vertically. The font I'm using Railway Bold and the distance in between letters is 200. Then I will highlight this company name, right click my mouse and pre-compose it. I will name it tagline. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK. Then go to effects and preset, generate Vegas. Change the segments here to 1. I will change the length here to 0. The rotation is 75%. Then make sure that the playhead is at the beginning of your timeline and hit this stopwatch here to create a keyframe on the length and rotation. Then move your playhead to about 1 second and 10 frames duration and change this length to 0.146. Rotation, change this to 86. Move your playhead to the 2 seconds duration and change the length to 1 and the rotation, change it to 150. Then I will change the color here to black. The width I will change this to 27. Then the hardness 1. Start opacity 1. Midpoint opacity 1. Midpoint position I want it 1. And opacity 1. Then I will change the blending mode here to stencil. Okay there we go. Go to effects and preset. Go to generate. I will add fill. Go back to my project panel, open this folder asset, go to color guide, drop it down to the timeline. I'll just put it on the upper left side corner. Then I will go back to my effects control, highlight this tagline and change the color by using this color picker. Choose this color. Now go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it logo animate. Thirty-eight forty by 2160, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and the color is black, click OK. Then I will go to my project panel and drop down this logo into the timeline. Press this on my keyboard for the scale. I will change the value here to 50%. Go to effects and preset, go to generate, add Vegas. I will change the segments here to then I will create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch on the length and change the value here to 0. Also the rotation, I will change this to 75 degrees. 
move my play head to 4 seconds duration then I will change the length value to 1 and this rotation I will change this to 150 and then I will check this random face change the blending mode to stencil change the color here to black change the width here to 40 then the hardness 1 and the midpoint opacity 1 also the midpoint position and end opacity now go to layer create a new solid and i want this color click ok i will just enable the transparency switch here then i will highlight this logo press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it then i will drag it up highlight this vegas and highlight this effects and delete it then go to effects and preset go to transition and add venetian lines move my playhead at the beginning of the timeline and i will create a keyframe on the transition completion change this to 90 percent then move forward my play to about 3 seconds and 15 frames then press my keyboard open bucket key to move that layer move my play to about 6 seconds duration and change the transition completion to zero then go to layer create a new solid and still i'm using this kind of color click ok i'll just enable the transparency switch in here Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it main logo animation. Thirty-eight forty by twenty-one sixty, thirty frames per second, and ten seconds duration. Color black. Click OK. Then I will go to my project panel and drop down this logo into the timeline. Then I will go to effects and preset. Go to generate. I will add gradient crumb then i will go back again to project panel and drop down this color guide into the timeline drag it on the left upper corner on the canvas then i will go back again to effects and control highlight this bg take this color picker and change the start color to this color then i will change the end color to this color and change the end of ramp on the x value to 556 change the ramp shape to regional ramp then I will open my project panel again and drop down this logo animate into the timeline. Just above the BG, I will enable both the 3D layers here. Highlight this background composition and press S on your keyboard for the scale and change the value here to 105. Then I will highlight the logo animate, go to effects and preset, generate, till on it. Change the color to white, click OK. Go back to effects and preset and blur and sharpen CC radial fast blur. I'll just change the amount here to 75%. Then again, I will go back to effects and preset. Go to generate. I'll just add fill on it. Change this color to black. There you go. I will press Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it. I will delete this effect. Also, the CC radial fast blur. I will change the color here to this color. Then go to effects and preset. Go to color correction, brightness, contrast. Then change the brightness to negative 100. Then I will highlight this low animate and press Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it 88 times. and highlight all these logo animate compositions and also the BG then press P on my keyboard for the position then go back again to the top most and I will change the value on the Z position I will start here and I will change this to 2 so I will make this increment of 2 in each composition I just want to speed it up guys because I don't want you to wait okay
so we'll go back to the topmost and highlight all these compositions then i will close this adjust this one down so i can see this control panel we'll highlight this logo animate composition delete this fill effect then move my playhead at the beginning of my timeline and then i will create a keyframe on the brightness i will change this to 150 then move forward my playhead to about seven seconds or so change this value to zero then go to effects and preset go to perspective and add bevel alpha drag this bevel alpha on top i will change the edge thickness here to one then the light angle i will change this to negative 57 then the light intensity i will change this to 0.25 then i will check this use legacy support now go back to your project panel and drop down this text placeholder into the timeline and move back my play to about 3 seconds and 15 frames and press pen bucket key to move that layer make sure to highlight this text placeholder go to effects and preset go to generate add fill take this color picker and choose this color then i will go to effects and preset go to color correction i will add brightness and contrast i will change the brightness here to negative 25 and check this use legacy support then go back again to effects and preset go to blur and sharpen add cc fast radial blur move your playhead to about six seconds create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the amount change the amount to 80 then move your playhead to about nine seconds duration then change the amount to 20. highlight this text placeholder again Control d on my keyboard to duplicate it i will delete this fx cc radial blur then go to layer create a new camera i will be using a custom camera click ok then i will go back to layer and create a null object i want this null object a 3d layer and parent the camera on the null object move my play to the beginning of my timeline press p on my keyboard for the position of the null object hit the stopwatch in here to create a keyframe then change the value on the z position probably 700 then move your playhead to about three seconds change the value on the z position to zero then move again your playhead to about five seconds duration and change the z value to 200 then highlight these keyframes press f9 to easy easy open the graph editor and highlight all these points then grab the handle on the left side highlight again these two text placeholders press p on your keyboard for the position and i will just drag it down and as you can see that it's not dark so all i have to do is to highlight this placeholder again go to effects and control i will add another effect generate fill and i will change this to black there you go then i will go to composition again and create a new composition i will name it main with sfx Thirty eight forty by 2160 30 frames per second 10 seconds duration color black click ok and then i will go open my project panel i will drop down this main logo animation into the timeline then open my sfx folder and drop it down into the timeline then go to composition create a new composition i will name it final 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration color black click ok I will go back to the main logo animation delete this color guide drop this main with sfx into the timeline then let's preview it
As you can see in here that there is no shadow. All I have to do is to go back to the main logo animation. Go to logo animate number 94. Change the value on the center to negative 17777.8. Then I will change this 1080 to 0. As you can see here, there is a shadow already. So let's go open final and let's preview it again. So now guys, we are done with our tutorial and I hope that you enjoy it, learn from it. And for those people who have not yet subscribed into my channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like, comment or even share it to your friends and press the notification bell so that you will not miss all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the future, okay? Then my thoughts for today guys is that being a creative sometimes creates a good motivation, okay? So thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.